Hi loves, it is me Serena. Welcome back to my channel. I'm filming another video right now because I know I just like, I've been posting like a lot, which is sexy, but I don't know. I kind of want to like, I literally just made a video of me like showing my doll display, but I kind of want to like change it up a little bit. Bitch. And the reason why actually is because of <laughs> Monster High. <laughs> okay, listen. I used to collect Monster High dolls like from day one. I rem I was just talking about this on Twitter, but I remember seeing the Monster High commercial, like the original one. And I remember like, not for the dolls, but for the website. It was before the dolls were even released. Monster High, the perfect learning environment for teen children of legendary monsters like new student Frankie Stein. I feel so alive here, all that again. Laguna Blue swim team. Our swim team's fest. The piranhas help. Claudine Wolf. Our moonlight dancers are fierce. Ow! Vegan vampire Draculaura. Our cafeteria's got lots of dishes without blood. Hot couple Cleo and Deuce. Fear leader captain, that's my boyfriend. Don't go there. Dying to enroll? Sign up here. Monster High, where Freaky just got fabulous. And I remember being like, ooh, what is that? And I like went online and I was reading like the character bios and I was like, oh, this is cool. And I saw that there was a link to Toys R Us where you could actually pre-order the first wave of dolls. And I was like, whoa, those are so fucking cool. I remember seeing like some of the very, very first videos ever put on YouTube of people like going and finding the first wave and like reviewing like Frankie and being like, this is a new doll called Monster High and they're close fit brats. I don't know if you guys know who Elena Genevieve is. She's like a YouTuber, um, but she's been making videos for so long and she used to have this little doll channel when she was like nine or 10 called, it was called like How and Review. And she had a video where she was reviewing Frankie Stein, like the very first like edition, first era, like I literally keep saying this, but fresh off the fucking conveyor belt, asked Frankie. And she was like, this is a new doll. And she was like, let's see if they fit Brad's clothes and just all this stuff. Hello guys, I'm here to reveal the new doll they're called Monster High. They come in these boxes, but I've opened my doll. They're really new. They're made from Mattel. Um, you can go to monsterhigh.com and watch episodes. They look like this. Um, apparently the, each doll comes with a doll stand, um, a doll, an accessory, a diary, and where's the puppy? They're very pretty and sometimes creepy. Their face are squishy. So they're known likely to squishy. So I've been around with Monster Heights literally since before the dolls were like even released. I I found out about it like real early. Um, so I collected Monster High from like 2010 to like 20, like 15. I can put some pictures in of my old collection. I ended up selling them. I got into Bratz when I was like 15, around the time that I kind of stopped buying them. I also stopped buying them because they started to become not very cute. Like after Haunted, I think I was just kind of over it. And I really, really am nostalgic mostly for like the first era of Monster High, if that makes sense. Like the, like, you know, Dawn of the Dance, Gloom Beach, um, School's Out, like all those lines, Dead Tired. Like those are kind of like, what i think is cute for monster high but i don't know it's just been like trending lately and i don't know if you guys have ever seen but i do have um a first wave set that i customized i like repainted them i do have a video of it on my channel and it sucks because you know they're like my probably my favorite customs i've ever done besides my my scenes um and they're just kind of like you know trapped in this closet where like there's just extra stuff in here that i don't have room for and I kind of want to bring them back out and set up a little like Monster High display. And I'm probably going to buy those repros because like, duh, because it's everything. So yeah, let's make a little like Monster High display. I feel like that'd be kind of cute and fun. So I'm not really sure what we should do because 
everything kind of has like its spot right now but honestly there's been some brats that i've been thinking that i want to maybe sell or or just put away for now because i don't know i really like how the, it all looks on the display but i just feel like there's so many that i don't look at or touch and i feel like they're kind of there just because i have it if that makes sense so i feel like something i do when i feel like I want more room or I feel like I have too many dolls going on is you can try putting some dolls away and see if you think about them and usually you don't like if there's a doll that you genuinely would consider like putting away once you do so you know that saying of like when something is out of sight it's out of mind that is so fucking true like even with you know something as simple as dolls it's like if there's something that you're on the fence about just try putting it away and see if you even think about it also like if you pick a doll up because you know how like sometimes there'll be a doll that you're like eh, i don't really like touch her i don't really think about her don't really care too much about her you kind of will pick it up and be like okay i'll sell her and then you're like but wait i kind of want to keep her she's pretty <laughs> well at least i do that but then and then you're kind of like okay i'll keep her i literally just did that like today with fucking treasures chloe i don't know i would like of all of my brat dolls that would not be one that i'd be like ooh, i'm gonna grab this one and look at her you know N interact with her so she's just like up there and i picked her up though and i was like i was like ooh, she's gorgeous whatever she's cool and then i was like okay i'll just keep her but but then a good thing to ask yourself is if this doll was gone would i care and I can very confidently say no. Because at a point, I didn't have her and I didn't care. But now that I do have her, it's like, oh, I don't want to let her go. So you know what? We're going to be responsible and we're going to take her off of my shelf and put her, um, we'll put her here. So, okay. Who else? Low key, guys. I love my slumber party dolls. But sometimes I'm kind of like, do I really need them? In an attempt to make space, we're just going to put them away. Oh, but Jade, Jade is so cute. And Chloe, and my sister got me this one <laughs> and they're in a fucking bedroom. No, 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 no. Let's just try it. Okay. So we're just gonna take them down. Aw, the wave. <laughs> we're just gonna put them away. We're not selling them, Serena. We're not selling them. And then here, oh, here are some little Bratz magazines. I think my friend Anne got them for me with this trade wait was that you Anne? did you give me these little brats magazines oh my god that is so cute we'll try putting them down because maybe we can put um some other brats in this area and then we'd have more room over there maybe pillows like there ah the way <laughs> i said ah. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. sweet dreams duh those bitches are not going anywhere so for now, we will simply just put them up here for the sake of, you know, being able to rearrange. This is the prettiest Sasha um, in the universe. Okay, so now we have this shelf clear. So I wonder if perhaps I could kind of transfer these dolls over there in some sort of array. And then we could put the Monster High dolls up here on these two shelves maybe okay so this is just like um a dana like a conceptualized like pretty and punk looking dana that i just kind of whipped together because i needed more like another doll up there kind of well i mean i didn't need it but in my head i did <laughs> so i think this will actually work out quite nicely uh, this is actually a second pretty and punk chloe that i have because i'm actually gonna be making a custom with another pretty and punk chloe it'll be the first custom brat doll that i do on my channel i just haven't fixed this one up yet um so that's why she kind of looks twacked <laughs> um oh my god jade jade um we'll make it look proper in a second and this fucking megan i got this megan actually for christmas like new in box so she's like mega crispy um, my Yasmin's really crispy too. I don't know if you guys have actually even seen these dolls yet, but I just moved all of those dolls onto this shelf 
it looks a little crowded but i think it looks fine i'm gonna fix this after but it's good enough for me right now because i also for some reason i didn't really like the brats like over a part of this set of things anyway i don't know why i just didn't i feel like it just i don't know Blah. okay so now we have room monster high display okay so firstly we will just get all of them out of here so we have cleo and then here's dracula and claudine over here it's also nice too because i feel bad for them because i literally spent so much time on these dolls and they deserve to be on display wow she looks pretty <laughs> I'm so proud of these. I think that they're so beautiful. I remember a bunch of people, um, a lot of people were like, those are so ugly and you ruined them. I was like, I'm sorry, but you can not convince me that these fucking dolls are ugly. Like, they look so beautiful. <laughs> Especially this one. Everyone's always like, that looks just like you. <laughs> Which is like the sweetest thing ever. Miss Kiyomi. Um, this is one of the like later dolls that I always just loved. I think she's so beautiful. So then we also have like, I have some other pets um, and it's like some little accessories and things. So that'll be fun. We can like decorate it with that. I know I have Miss, um, duh, what's her fucking name? Dawn of the Dance Gulia. This is a doll that I got. I remember I got her in, at Kmart in like 2000, like, I don't know if it was 2011 or 12. And she's partially repainted too. Um, but I just could not put it in me to get rid of this doll. Like when I went and sold all of them, the only ones I kept were Spectra and Abby. And then I also I also kept her because she's the she's actually the Gloom Beach Gulia. And I just turned her into first edition. But I love this doll so much. And I I love her little like 60s looking like type of dress and her little shoes and her glittery tights. I actually gave her this like little bump it with like a bow that I got online because I wanted to add to her like look. Isn't she so cute? Um, so I just went and grabbed um, my original Spectra. I do actually have two Spectras because like, well, you know, duh. <laughs> We have all of these dolls and we have two shelves though. So I'm wondering what we should do if we should have all the first editions be up on one shelf and then other dolls be there, but then they'll be like random though. So that won't really look very cute. Hmm. Okay. So I feel like before we put them all up here, we should give them a little brush because you know, they probably need to just be like spruced up a little bit. I was just talking about this like recently too, but this is just like, I don't think they ever topped in terms of like character design and execution and color palette and whatever. I don't think they ever touched Abby Bonneville. I think that she's the coolest and prettiest monster title ever. Like her and first edition Gulia and Laguna too and Frankie, like, they're just top notch. Like they're just so interesting. And I feel like, I don't know, in my head, these two are like the epitome of like Monster High. I don't know. Along with like the first edition dolls, obviously. I don't know why, but the way that she just like zoomed into the camera like that is just sending me. <laughs> Okay, so here we have the first one where we'll do is Frankie. Um, so yes, I did customize this Frankie. She is one of the first edition ones because um, she has like the the golden um, whatever the fuck. I'm pretty sure I heard someone say that that's a way that you can tell if they're first edition is if they have like the golden strings in their hips. So she is, um, this is her her face <laughs> in some way somehow i do think that frankie stein is kind of underrated maybe it's just because you know nobody really ever wants to be like oh you know frankie's my favorite or whatever but i don't know she's one of my favorites for sure <laughs> um i just think that her design is so like nice and simple 
Um, thank you, Miss Gulia. Now, um, Gulia is definitely my favorite of the first wave. I know she's kind of like technically an extension, but just I think that she's so interesting. The combination of like the little like 2010 like scene looking outfit, but she also kind of has like a 60s like vibe to her in a way like with some of her other dolls and like especially her dance dolls um yeah she's one of my faves and she just has like such nice hair and i love that all she can say is like Bruh. but she's like brilliant at the same time and she's like the most brilliant person at the school and she's basically like a modern day albert einstein like that's so cute <laughs> I, I wish I would have I wish I would have been able to film like the process of this, but these dolls were fucking whooped, you guys. Like you can still even see it just a little bit, like with the glue seepage in their hair. That's like one of the main reasons why I feel like I could never ever like fully just like give my all into collecting monster high dolls, even if I wanted to, because it's like they're decaying like as we speak. I like how this one turned out. I think she looks really good, but I feel like I wasn't able to fully like encompass my vision for her. Um, also, I feel like her hair could be a little bit longer, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> um, okay, so there's Claudine. Look at this fucking like dramatic ass pose I had her in. <laughs> so here's Draculaura. I really like how she turned out. I think she looks really beautiful. And I like how you can see her blushing like through her shirt and stuff. Um, I love this little necklace too. Um, but she also is like a top notch character design. And I, I cut her bangs into like a little vampire looking bang. Um, so next we have Cleo Denial. She was the first one that I did because she was the first doll that I was able to find for like a good price. So I feel like she's probably like my least favorite of these um because i feel like the last one i did was laguna but i feel like by the time that i was getting towards you know the last doll i was really able to like you know curate exactly what i wanted with laguna so i feel like that's why laguna probably looks the best not that cleo looks bad but um it just you know in my own like critique of my own work um i cut up her outfit just because I wanted her to be a little bit more like I wanted the mummy effect to be a little bit more apparent but yeah <laughs> her hair was like entirely just whacked you guys like the glueiest hair you could ever imagine but I did a lot of tricks so I was able to make it you know look good but it honestly doesn't feel amazing though um okay so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do some sorting with that um, you guys may be able to tell because she does not have her little like bangs, but this also is not like the first edition Laguna. I think this is a Ghoul's Night Out Laguna, but I was going to repaint like their face anyway, so it didn't really matter. But I kind of liked that she had like longer hair and she had like a middle part at the time. Nowadays, I'm, I probably would just prefer to have like the real one, but I also gave her this little like... Um, what is that hand gesture called? Like surfs up or whatever. <laughs> um, but she's one of my favorites as well. Okay. So Laguna will go there. <laughs> Kiyomi, who I also repainted. Um, I liked the idea of her being like faceless and I liked, I loved how they used like the white lines for her eyes and stuff, but I felt like it could have just been like, you know, more exaggerated and whatever i also feel like every doll in the universe needs bigger lips <laughs> so i that was another reason why i wanted to repaint them but she's so cute i feel like her and spectra are like the same but in like a different universe or something but we do have jennifer um we can probably put gulia here and put laguna up there and then have like these kind of like extra characters. Um, it's definitely gonna be not entirely cohesive because Jennifer, Abby, and Spectra are not repainted, but whatever, it's 
but it's not that big of a deal. I also used to always love this doll. I thought she was so interesting. She was one of my favorites when she came out. Um, I just love like this hair color blend and like the contrast of like the maroons and the reds and the gold and the green hair and the black streaks and the skin. Like she would look real pretty with a fish dress repaint. Maybe I should do it. Should I film it? Should I do it? Huh? Huh? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna like sort them out and figure out exactly what I wanna do. And then we'll look at it. Okay, I just finished the little Monster High display. You wanna see it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Wow. <laughs> Okay, so I have everyone sorted and I have everything all, you know, put together. And I think it looks so, so cute. Like much cuter than I expected. And I think it just is a nice, like, it's nice to have them displayed because they're always just like in my closet. We were able to push ourselves to get some brats out of this fucking house. <laughs> so like I said, we swapped all of these dolls for these this is the main um like first edition sort of section all of my customs are here besides kiyomi but i feel like she doesn't really stand out like that much against the other ones but don't they look so cute i put them in these little poses that kind of remind me of them um i have these three pets right here and i put dracula's little bat on her head so I felt like there was no room here. So I put this acorn that I found like 10 years ago that I've kept with me right there. Um, just for like the sake of there being like something at the end. <laughs> we have Laguna and Draculaura. And then Gulia we have front and center because duh, she's the best. And then we have Miss Frankie who is, I don't know what it is about Frankie, but she is sending me. And then Claudine and Cleo are on the end here. And I think Cleo looks really pretty. Oh, they like fit perfectly. It took a while for me to like get it looking perfect. And then over here we have like some of the extra characters. So Abby and Spectra are finally able to, you know, be together like up somewhere. And then we have Jennifer in the center and my Dawn of the Dance Gulia, and then Kiyomi on the end. And I feel like their their colors go nicely together. Like something about it, I think it looks good. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like those look pretty good over there. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I guess that is all for this video. I just wanted to document this because I thought some of you would like to watch like the process of something like this. I love you guys. Please let me know what you think of these customs. Um, and if you like them and um, your perspective and everything. I'll see you in the next video. Mwah, mwah.